Hello everybody and welcome to the third episode of my Czech Republic GeoGuessr series. Today we're doing something that's a little bit different from the last two episodes. One of my viewers created this map called Chicago, which includes 18 locations of the Czech American community in and around Chicago. Uh, so I'm pretty excited for this map, it should be really interesting to uh, sort of explore Chicago and the nearby area, uh, just sort of looking around at the Czech American community sites. So if you did not know, Chicago and the surrounding area has a very significant Czech population, uh, one of the largest communities in the country. Country, actually. Uh, if we take a look at this article, they're locally known as Chicagoans, which I think is just incredible. That's that's a fantastic name. Uh, they first came to Chicago in the 1850s. Their Slovak counterparts arrived in the city about 40 years later, according to this article. One of our mayors from 1931 to 1933, Anton Cermak, was a Czech American, so we'll take a look at his article here. He was unfortunately murdered in 1933 by an assassin who was trying to shoot President-elect FDR. Uh, so a very unfortunate death for him. His final rest place is at the Bohemian National Cemetery, which is in Chicago. I was just recently there. I'll show a few of the pictures uh, of this cemetery. Uh, so you can see here it's on Pulaski Road on the north side. Uh, so there's Anton Cermak's tomb, and uh, there's some other memorials there for some various things. Uh, I'll show pictures on the screen right now. So let's also take a look at this article about Czech Americans as a whole. Uh, there's a, quite a significant population of Czech people in the United States, uh, about 1.7 million according to Wikipedia. Uh, if we take a look at the states with the most Czech people, uh, Illinois has over 120,000 residents uh, who are Czech Americans, and apparently these are grossly understated figures when considering second and third generation descendants as well, so probably a lot more than just that. Uh, but you can see Illinois is the second most in the country. Uh, and then Illinois as a whole is 1.2% Czech. Uh, these communities here, North Riverside, Lyons, Oakbrook Terrace, and Willowbrook, these are all towns that are suburbs of Chicago. They have quite a large percentage of people who were actually born in the Czech Republic or former Czechoslovakia. Uh, so that's quite interesting actually. 2% of North Riverside was born in the Czech Republic. Uh, we also have these towns, Stickney, Illinois, and again, North Riverside. Both of those are suburbs of Chicago. Uh, they've got 14.5% and 12.4% uh, Czech ancestry, which is really interesting to me, actually. Uh, so yeah, Czech people definitely have a significant presence in the Chicago area and the whole country. So with that, uh, let us go ahead and play a couple challenges on this map. So we're going to do one here. Uh, let's set the timer to three minutes. And you can move around, so if you want to play along with the first game, uh, there's going to be a link in the description, so go check it out right now. And here we go. Let's uh, hope for the best here, and see what kinds of locations we will get. Okay, so... Aha, uh, here we go. So this road here, Surmac Road, of course named after the former mayor. Uh, so I think this is probably the start of Surmac Road here. Uh, that would be my guess. So let's take a look. I think I know where we are as well. But Cermak is a pretty major street in Chicago, 2200 South. Uh, we should be around here somewhere. Yep, there's Calumet. So yeah, this this is the start of Cermak Road. Uh, you can see here it stretches out west through uh, the city, out into Cicero, Berwyn, some other suburbs. There's North Riverside, uh, one of those highly Czech communities. Uh, but we are here at the start of Cermak Road. And yeah, let's try and pinpoint. Uh, just lined up with this building looks like. Yeah, so we should be there, right at the start of the road. And there it is. Alright, so that was an interesting one. So yeah, you can see Cermak has a lasting impact uh, on the Chicago area. Even though he was only mayor for a couple years, uh, we had to honor him with this street, and yeah, he, he lives on through that. Uh, next round here puts us next to the Anton Dvorak Public School. So another famous Czech person named Anton, uh, this time a famous composer, uh, quite well known around the world, and this is a school named after him. I'm not exactly sure where this is. Let's take a look at the streets. Uh, Millard and 16th. So we should be uh, in a kind of similar area to Cermak Road. Uh, so you see Cermak is here. 16th is just a bit north of it. Um, and so we're in the Lawndale neighborhood here, because Millard Street is right there. And there is the Dvorak School of Excellence. So right in front of this. Um, I have heard of the school actually before. I, I've never actually seen it in person myself, so this is cool to see. Got a nice sort of mosaic thing there. Uh, so yeah, I would assume that this area at one point or another had a significant Czech population. Um, 
I know for sure that this neighborhood, Pilsen, which is named after the city in Czechia, uh, had a significant population there as well. And sort of this whole western corridor, uh, Berwyn, Cicero, North Riverside as well, uh, all had a significant Czech population. Uh, so that's probably why the school is named that and why it is where it is. So let's go ahead and make the guess. And there we go. Next round. Uh, okay, so this is some kind of church, perhaps. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. Let's try and find more information and see where we are, actually. So you can see we're at Roscoe and Lawndale. So uh, interesting. This time we're on the north side of the city. Uh, what is this church called? St. Venceslaus Catholic Church. <laughs> uh, kind of tough for me to say there. Uh, but interesting. So I guess this must be connected to uh, the Czech American community in some way or another. Uh, but Roscoe is on the north side, uh, and Lawndale is a north-south street. So let's go ahead and find it. So here is Roscoe. Now we're looking for Lawndale, which is out here somewhere. There it is. Uh, and yeah, here is St. Venceslaus. Venceslaus. Uh, <laughs> kind of a tough word to say for me, uh, but we should be right about there. I think. So that's interesting. I didn't know this was here. Uh, that's very cool. Alright. So let's go ahead and make the guess. So yeah, you can see that's a very different uh, location relative to where a lot of the Czech community historically was. Uh, so that's kind of interesting to think about. Let's go ahead and make the guess. And uh, there we go. Round number four puts us in front of Czech Kitchens, home of Josie's Dumplings. That sounds fantastic, actually. Where is this? Uh, I might have to make a trip out here, because that sounds really good. <laughs> uh, so, based on the streets here, I think we are just outside of Chicago. We're at Oak Park Avenue and Pershing Road. Uh, so, sort of a southwestern suburb here, kind of. Over this way. Uh, let's see. So, Pershing and Oak Park should be just about here. Uh, yeah, there, and look at that, Stickney. Well, that was one of the towns I mentioned has a significant Czech population or at least a population with Czech ancestry. Uh, and they've got a Czech kitchen with Josie's dumplings, which sounds really good. Uh, I will definitely have to check this out sometime. Uh, I don't see it marked on the map. Oh, there it is, okay. So yeah, we should be just about there, uh, right next to the alley. So about there, give or take. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. So I did not know that Stickney had so many uh, Czech Americans here. Uh, you never really think about that. Uh, but yeah, it's one of these suburbs, again, in this sort of southwestern area here of the suburbs and then the city as well that uh, has a notable Czech population. So let's go ahead and make the guess. And there we go. All right, last round for the first challenge. Uh, and excellent. We've ended up next to the Bohemian National Cemetery. Uh, I was just here today on the day of me recording this video. Uh, this is, as I mentioned earlier, the final resting place of Mayor Cermak uh, and lots of other prominent Czech Americans. Uh, so yeah, we're right next to the main entryway here. Uh, so let's just take a quick look inside the cemetery. I don't think there's coverage in there. Uh, would seem kind of weird if there was, but uh, we'll just sort of zoom in here so you get a general idea uh, of how it is. There's also this building for it as well. Uh, the crematorium is that dome over there in the distance. You can kind of see it through the trees. Uh, but yeah, cool cemetery. Um, very interesting to sort of walk around and see uh, all of the different Czech names and members of the Czech Chicago community. So let's go ahead and make our guess here. Uh, now this is on the northwest side. We're actually in Chicago this time. Uh, and there it is, Bohemian National Cemetery. So we're right next to the main gates. Uh, yep, right about there. I want to take a look at the other side of this gate first, though. Interesting. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and make our guess right there. Awesome. Okay, so the final score there, 25,000 points. So that was actually a quite interesting challenge. Uh, we had four locations that were in Chicago, a couple uh, a little bit separated from the main Czech community here on the sort of southwestern areas, uh, but very cool. We had one in Stickney. So yeah, a nice little sampling. So let's play this map again and see what other kinds of locations we can get. So let's go ahead and do one more challenge here on this map and see if we can get some uh, different places here. Uh, let's take a look. First one, we are next to the Czech Plaza restaurant. 
Uh, we got a 708 area code, which means we're going to be uh, in the suburbs somewhere. Uh, now the question is, which one? Where are we? We're on Cermak Road once again, so uh, an extension of that. And Oak Street Health, I'm going to assume the cross street here is Oak. Uh, let's go the other way, try and figure out where we are. Cermak Plaza, so yeah, definitely named after Cermak here. And there's Harlem. Okay, excellent. So that is again going to put us in a similar area, in the suburbs this time. Uh, looks like we're in Berwyn this time. Uh, another community that I actually do have an association of being sort of a Czech-based community. Uh, so we're looking for the Oak Street thing and a Czech Plaza restaurant. Not seeing it, actually. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's uh, Home Avenue, not Oak. <laughs> oh, well. So we're going to be right there. So very interesting to get a location out here again. Once again on Cermak Road and North Riverside, the community with 12% Czech ancestry right there. Uh, round number two, another different one. This is the Culinary Brew House... Uh, what is this? Band of Bohemia. Interesting. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Where is this? There's Mariano's. Oh, I, I think I know where this is. We're on Ravenswood. Yeah, Ravenswood and Lawrence, right? Yeah. Interesting. I had no idea this was here. This is actually not too far away from me. Um, I might have to check this out. That's really cool. So let's get in here. So... We're at Lawrence and Ravenswood, uh, which is up here. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we should be right about there. That's really cool. I had no clue this was here. But yeah, we should be right about there, I think. Unless I'm messing this up. No, there's the zip car thing. Okay, yeah, so we're going to be right there. Uh, so yeah, some sort of uh, check associated brewery or something very cool this entire street of ravenswood here is really interesting because they've got a lot of old warehouse spaces that have been converted into all kinds of things uh, such as this brewery for instance uh, all kinds of other interesting spots some art centers uh, there's also this really cool place called the chicago architectural artifacts uh, and they have fantastic collections of just old antique uh, things from Chicago buildings, literal whole facades of buildings and chandeliers and like furniture from old demolished buildings that they saved. It's really cool. So if you're ever in Chicago, uh, I highly suggest you come check it out. Uh, anyway, we should be just about there. Fantastic. All right, next round here. So the next round here puts us again in front of a new location. This is a Chicago Park District building. Uh, and this is Dvorak Park. There we go. So yet another thing here in Chicago named after uh, Dvorak. I'm not sure where in the city it is. Let's uh, get some streets. Figure that out. Uh, where are they? Cullerton. And what's the other? Oh, we only got that one. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, make it to this intersection then and see what the cross street is. Here's Racine. Uh, well, that doesn't help me very much, but it kind of does uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that'll that'll do. So, uh, let's see. That's going to be south, I think. Wait, what am I thinking of? Hold on, I need I need more streets. <laughs> I'm kind of lost. I think I'm confusing myself. Let's see. Yeah, 21st. Okay, it is south. I thought so. Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. Excellent. So there we go. Uh, once again, you can see here where this is located, right in Pilsen. So again, a large Czech influence in this neighborhood. Uh, a lasting one at that. And so we're going to be right next to this building. And there we go. Awesome. So moving on to the fourth round here, we're actually oh in a photosphere. Uh, this is Soldier Field. <laughs> what? What does Soldier Field have to do with the Czech community? I'm not sure. There's probably something. I can't think of it right now. This is a nice looking photosphere, though. Kind of got the 
almost a sunrise over there, because... Oh, unless it's the sunset and we're looking west. In, e in any case, the compass is very wrong. <laughs> anyway, let's zoom into Soldier Field. Uh, I'm going to kick myself when I realize what the connection is. Uh, if I figure it out, I'll put it up on screen in my editing. Uh, but let's see, do we have a section number 433? Uh, I don't know where that's going to be. <laughs> Probably on this side, above 133, I would assume. So yeah, I'll go, I'll go about there. Oof, yep, further up. <laughs> but there we go. That is a quite misplaced photosphere, honestly. Um, but yeah, hey, not bad. Uh, I'll, whatever the connection is, I'll put it up on screen. Um, there's definitely something there. Final round here. Uh, we're in front of a restaurant here. Bohemian American Cuisine, the home of fine steaks. Fantastic. This sounds really good. Uh, where are we is the new question. 58th and Cermak once again. Uh, street signs indicate that we're not in Chicago, so we should be in uh, Cicero or Berwyn or something. So let's take a look. Uh, there's 58th. Near Cermak, so we should be about there. Uh, is the restaurant not marked? Yeah, I don't see it marked on the map. That's too bad. Um, but yeah, we should be just about there, give or take. Uh, but yeah, once again on Cermak Road. Again, just reassuring the the Czech influence of this sort of corridor of the city and suburbs. So let's go ahead and click right there. And we get another 5k to end that challenge. So another 25,000 points. Uh, pretty cool one. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, and let me know your thoughts on the Czech American community in general. Uh, the Czech Cago community as well. Uh, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching as always. And I will see you guys next time.